gang, peeps, Padawans, welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Tip of the hat to you. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a hot or cold beverage, and enjoy what um, I'll be sharing with you today, which is episode 10, um, Murder is a Novel Idea for um, Street Hawk. And we're almost halfway to the end. Uh, it's a bittersweet journey uh, once we get to the end, but... Uh, after uh, after episode 10, we got uh, three more episodes to go, but um, for the time being, let's enjoy the journey until the end, which is not necessarily in the end because uh, it's the end for this uh, this particular 13-episode uh, series. And afterwards, check out my other sections of my, uh, 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 my uh, videos when it comes to um, the Star Wars, uh, Star Wars series. Uh, uh, like the Mandalorian. Um, also, there is a section for that will and I will put on there eventually uh, the sci-fi uh, series section when it comes to Resident, Resident Alien. But that um, will be uh, those couple, uh, three episodes so far are on my Patreon and will eventually be put uh, uh, posted on my cha channel. But right now they're on my Patreon, like I said before, and um, yeah. Uh, yeah, do me a favor then. If you if you actually enjoy um, any of my content, my own unique content, when it comes to me just um, doing my own thing and setting apart myself, trying to set myself apart from other reactors, in regards to just um, going back to what uh, growing up and uh, uh, taking a look back at all the shows that I grew up with, feeling nostalgic. Um, like I said, I'm doing Street Hawk right now, and then. It, um, afterwards, it's um, uh, Visionaries, that 1987 classic cartoon, and um, it's kind of like a mix between He-Man, Dungeons and Dragons, and GI Joe. That's 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 for me, in my, in my opinion. That's how I look at it. And um, in any case, with that said, let's get into the reaction of Episode 10, Murder as a Novel Idea. All right, let's go. And the vaults take us stuff as well. As per usual, um, Street Hawk keeping vigilant, um, watchful eye oh, as uh, the uh, heroic uh, street vigilante, crime fighter I'm vigilante. No, Jesse, just wait. We've got them right where we want. That's what the police have been saying for the past three weeks. Look where it got them. Oh, oh there you go. I got yeah, it, spotting them, spying the criminals, bad guys. Right, time for the chase. Yeah, the bad guys like stormtroopers, they miss. Bad aim. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Ooh. Jesse, the get all the way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Street off up to the rescue. I bet the kid, uh, is uh, mesmerized by uh, the stranger. Give that little smirk. Norman, where'd they go? We lost them. Come on in. <laughs> Just kids standing there and like, wow. Wow. Hey Norman, what's that on the tube? Oh great, I've been waiting for this. Naming the killer in the brutal Red Rose murder is the subject of Stephanie Craig's upcoming book. Stephanie's here with us right now. That smile on his face. I'm thinking, uh, just, you know, he, I heard him say, um, Jesse knows her. Steve, it happened in June 1964. Gamma Gamma Good old Stephanie. Good old Stephanie. <laughs> you don't know her. Sure. You, I love this woman. I have read everything oh, she's ever Oh, Norma's a big no, fan. I know. She's the one who the department. Yes, I believe. this woman. murder, it just sort of fizzled out. Well, let's go back to that night 20 years ago. Yeah, Everybody was having fun. Sweet girl. All Sweet girl. <laughs> the beautiful Rosemary He's loving Fairley. this. Rosemary to the entire campus police force. You'd better get in here. Captain George, you got anybody to trial? That girl looks, yes, looks like the hawk fight. from um, Sesame oh, Street. Thank you, Captain The blue George one? The campus police. Thank you very much. Big nose. Now, according to no one bothered to do what I plan to do in my new book. Identify the murderer of Rosemary Fairling. Why, after all these years, what are we going to do? 
First, we don't panic. Actually, uh, it is a not a hawk, but an eagle. The guy in that well background for looks, like the, stunts. looks like the eagle from Sesame Street. But what if it yes, is that dude. She was an honor student. We'd better find out how much she really knows. Now, to do that, we've invited Rachel Adams to be with us. Rachel is official spokesperson for the police department. Uh -oh. First of all, thank so, you. Uh -oh. Rachel, Rachel said, uh-oh. Oh, sure. Okay. Professional jealousy. Well, frankly, I find this whole thing just a little hard to believe. Although, I must admit, I am curious to find out who Miss Craig intends to accuse. Oh, you'll have to wait for the book to come out and read it, just like the rest of the public. Uh, excuse me, but <laughs> why should your public yeah. believe that you could solve a crime that's eluded? I'm here right now. Moral combat. Now, you know the department. Rachel, 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 Rachel,
have copies of what was stolen? Oh, sure. I mean, I spent over a year researching this thing, and it's programmed into my computer. <clears throat> didn't you think it was a little strange that they didn't steal anything else? Well, I suppose. I guess I'm just lucky. Stephanie, I think, um, well, what Je Jesse's trying to say is, um, maybe somebody doesn't want you to finish this book. Like who? Like the murderer. Safely say that the murderer doesn't care if I write this book. Well, look, in that case, it's just the three of us here. Why don't you tell me? Uh, no, uh, he's at work, but, um... Well, he asked me to, to give you a call and, and see if you were okay, and he's, he's a little bit worried. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stephanie! Stephanie! <laughs> Stephanie! Hyper thrust. Three, two, two one. one. face just basically kidnapping her um, and throwing her in the car. Uh, Shri Dog arriving just in time. Tuck and roll! Tuck and roll! Jump mode. Something tells me she's gonna be intrigued by Street Hawk and um, ends up ends up gonna be doing like a uh, like a Did you find uh, no. research on him. The death sergeant said she trying to reveal his identity. Life. That was over an hour ago. Stephanie. Hi. Hey. Me and Wamba decided to take a little walk in. We ended up here. I'm glad you did. I've been thinking about you. Who did you have pegged as Rosemary's murderer? Oh. Come on, Steffi. This isn't the time to start worrying about blowing the last chapter. Okay. James Joseph O'Connell. He was a custodian at the university. He left shortly after the murder. It made sense. It made perfect sense. Well... Didn't the police check him out at the time? Sure, but they've been wrong before. Can I stay here tonight with you? What the hell are you trying to prove? This thing with Stephanie is all over the news. I'm trying to protect all of us. Well, not me. I, I don't knew want it. Any part of it. Well, I didn't you're, know you're it, but I, was, I assumed. I wasn't the one who murdered that girl 20 years ago. Look, it doesn't matter anymore. Let's just drop it, right? Let's wait it out. Oh, sure. How long? Till a book comes out? No. She knows too much. We've got to get rid of her. So did you ever see that Street Hawk character? Um, oh, no, she's intrigued now. So. The, writer, the writer in her is, um, I'm telling you, wants Jesse, to delve into really that uh, I mean, story of uh, who day, is Street Hawk. This guy is fantastic. Yeah? <laughs> the costume's a bit much, but there's something kind of, I don't know, sexy about the mystery. You know what I mean? Well, don't ask me. You're the expert on mysteries. This one's sure taking a turn, hasn't it? Uh, yeah. Check this out. Donald Jordan. She interviewed him four separate times. Jordan, uh, he's the uh, security chief, isn't he? Yeah. So, an uh, apartment in the marina... A condo in Palm Springs? That boat slip alone must be worth half a year's salary. Uh, maybe it comes from... Getting down to the nitty gritty and when it comes to investigating, maybe digging deep. Out. Hello, Miss Craig. This is Donald Jordan Campus Security. I've heard you've been having some trouble and I think I can help you. Why don't you meet me at the Campus Rose Garden noon today? It's important. I wouldn't. Three days after Rosemary's murder, this guy Jordan ends up on the Howard payroll. Now, uh, could be a coincidence. 
It's a strange coincidence. Times like these, uh, oh, uh, the, the use of cell phones is sorely needed. Norman's going to uh, utilize his uh, technique. She's meeting Jordan at the campus Rose Garden. How do you know that? It was on her answering machine. Remember I told you about that electronic tone? Well, Stephanie's is a C-sharp with an augmented fifth. Well, you never give up, do you, Norman? Lucky for us, huh? Let's roll! Thank you for coming, Miss Craig. What do you want to see me about, Captain? Better ask them. Bad move. Never draw on Street Hawk. That went out of time with his machine gun um, feature on his uh, on, on the bike the motorcycle. Don't make it too. That uh, steel metal beam. Gonna come in, uh, come into play um, near the end of this, uh, near, the, near the end of this episode. Possibly gonna be flat in that car right there. It's a construction site, six of the national. Put me in a hyperthrust. Hyperthrust cleared and counting. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't even know who you guys are. I had the wrong guy. He's getting nervous. Antsy. Under the foundation. They'll never find her unless they tear That's down convenient building. since the guy owns a construction company. We were only 19. We had our whole lives ahead of us. So, yeah, and you're gonna uh, have your lives end in prison. Trip him. Now. There you go. Good girl. I can hop better than that. Big steps, big hops. That's no way to treat a lady. Nice arrival. It feels right at home when it comes to this kind of um, uh, uh, um, spacing. It's like kind of like a dirt track road. Been, been um, in that position all this time. Her on top, of him on top of her. Blow it. Missile. I would have gotten up by now and just like have her stand her up as well. Oh, is it the beam time? Is it the steel beam time? I would crush the car. And she's still on the ground. I want to see that. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. He ends up crashing something because like of the beam. It's something exactly like that. from the mayor, from the police department? Well, it was very nice. The mayor called me personally to thank me. The police, of course, uh, have very little to do with the whole thing, and I, of course, never expect much from them. That's disgusting. Now that you it's true, isn't right it? Right last Another dig at at the belly. It does add 10 pounds. <laughs> I, I really don't. <laughs> Another jewelry heist. Move it. Let's go, Jesse. Are you going to go back to writing fiction, or this will be another work of fact? Okay, okay. Pure fact. I have to admit, I'm very excited about the new book. I think it's going to be my best work yet. 
Do you know how many Street right dog? Come on, on Jesse, we've got three and a half minutes or we lose him. <laughs> no. I'm oh, on it, Norman. No, but this is different. Because in my new book, I plan to reveal the identity of Street Hawk. There you go. There you have it. Episode 10, um, Murder is a Novel Idea. Um, in the books, and with, with, what about that ending, though, with um, uh, Stephanie just basically announcing the the um, research, the uh, investigating res investigative research of who Street Hawk is, and yeah, um, I'm pretty sure if, if there was another season um, for Street Hawk, uh, she'll be a recurring character or a guest character trying to figure out um, who. Um, the mass vigilante is, uh, and getting close to the point of actually outing um, Jesse, her the uh, the man she, um, a female version of Jesse Mock. So, anyways, what could have been? There's so many what ifs. In any case, um, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that um, subscribe button, become a member of the Yoda Guru Gang, Peeps and Padawans, especially to you guys who are just. Um, we're just, uh, I don't, uh, really, um, uh, subscribed and, or just, um, just watching and figuring out with, out of curiosity's sake, what my content is about, but, um, on the cusp of, um, of, uh, actually becoming a member and subscribing, what do you have to lose? Um, I, I I'm, t I'm, I'm assure you that my content is, um, even though it, it's more geared toward the 80s and um, present day. I'm uh, my uh, content uh, is uh, favored uh, more um, into what I uh, really enjoy when it comes to um, going back to my childhood, especially with me doing the uh, 80s one season wonder um, section part of my uh, channel because uh, uh, I got more in store when it comes to the 80s. I can dip, I can tip, I bet you bottom dollar on that. And uh, and I just let you know the next uh, after the after uh, the Street Hawk there will be an animated series. I'm not going to say say what it is, but I'll just leave it at that. It's going to be the 80s, some sometime in the 80s, an animated series. So that I grew up watching like I, like with Street Hawk, and it's going to be um, I think it's going to be entertaining. Um, with that, anyways. With that said, tip my hat to you. Um, may the force be with you. And until next video, guys. Later.